Hey guys, welcome to the stream. So give me a second here while we ping the Discord. Pull some people in. And then we'll have a little bit of hello people, shall we? Okay, so welcome. Who do we have? Ozo, Lizard, Bob, Zaf, Claire, Karina, Claire again, Exe, Josh, Blue, Ade. Welcome guys, Eric as well, Game Spit. Happy New Year guys. Happy New Year. Of course, it's already 2022 for our uh, friends in the Far East. How is everyone? It's been a, a while since I've been live, isn't it? It's been a while. Since a couple of weeks since we finished off Navaria. We've had Ilos arrive since then. Hope everyone's enjoying it. <laughs> I really do. Uh, hanging out at our big box stuff that we bought last episode. But yeah. Hope you're all enjoying Ilos anyway. Hey Jack, welcome back buddy. Joy, Renee. Almost 40k subs, it is nearly 40k subs. <laughs> it's been ridiculous growth since I last started last week. It's been crazy. <laughs> Absolutely crazy. Anyway, in today's episode, um, I want to start working on some very small uh, suburban park spaces. And also connect the highway into this section here. Because we're starting to get a lot of the industrial traffic here just causing choke points down this road so we're going to relocate all the industrial traffic to enter the highway down here so we'll do that tonight as well so yeah we'll uh, jump into google maps first of all because we need to have a look at some highway inspiration I think we should be okay here so give me a second Why can you guys not see Google Earth? Just give me a second, guys. I think it should be. Yeah, you guys can't see it, can you? Okay, I'm not sure why that's happening. We can't quite see Google Earth for some reason, but we'll try again in a bit. But either way, let's uh, prepare a highway exit, shall we? Let's come back to our regular daytime. I'm not sure why. Looks like it's the um, display capture window. Not sure. Either way, it's fine. We're only going to do a little highway exit. Um, so from the ones that I've looked at, uh, where we're kind of transitioning into highway interchange here, the highway is almost kind of like embanked. So I want to see if we can do that here. So let's go on to nodes with move it. And where are we going to... I think I'm going to rethink this connection. This will be deleted, and then we'll line up with this one, roughly. So let's just bring it down so we have a general idea of where this is going to flow. Got 59 people here already. Welcome to the stream, guys. Okay, so about here. Let's go ahead and grab the highway. Probably about there. Again, this will probably look a little bit ugly before it starts to look good. So we'll come up with page up. Okay, maybe to about there. Of course, smoothing all these out too. Maybe a touch higher than that, I think. Okay, we can always change it afterwards anyway. Uh, let's come into highway roads and we'll force to a bridge upgrade here. Uh, let's just go down to these ones for right now. We'll do three sections and then upgrade into the actual proper road. With road anarchy, of course, forcing it into a bridge. Okay. So that shouldn't be too bad, alright? Well, it's just kind of really basic, simple highway ramps that are coming down here, so... It shouldn't be too much of a problem to recreate, I don't think. Grab our road again, and we'll go for a road guideline snap, that should be alright. Come out here. Not like that though. <laughs> that is not what we want to happen. Come back down to earth. There we go. 
Does that put a pillar there? Why? Go away. There we go. <laughs> we are still on. Something of a learning curve with the mods, everyone. Do appreciate all the comments and support over the videos, by the way. Okay, so bring this through. Just for right here. Okay. My first live stream. Welcome, Moji. Hope it was worth the wait. <laughs> What's the crack today? I'm just going to make a little highway exit and then suburban park detailing. And it has to be detailing. <laughs> I want to keep the first few streams of ILOS at least somewhat detail orientated rather than entire builds. I'm sure we'll get to that point eventually though. Okay, and well, let's just create a slope here. Maybe a little bit further down this way. Alright. Same on this side again. Some nice gentle slopes coming up to these highway ramps here. Pillars in the middle of the road. No, there's not. Now we're free. I took it away. Hey, Iridium. Welcome to the stream. Okay. And then same here again. And just soften them out around the back as well. So the highway interchange I wanted to look at on Google Earth kind of had some little, almost like artworks alongside it. And it looked really nice. So we'll see if we can get involved with some of that today as well when we detail this little interchange up. Come on to our one lane. Now they kind of come off almost at an angle like this. Um, they're a little bit weird. So I definitely want road bending off this and what's the distance back to here we're on nine tiles so that should be ten let's see, leave ourselves ten tiles instead and then can i just get a simple connection up here uh not without looking weird can we do something with node control here though i wonder is node controller going to be our friend Kind of. Yes, it is. Okay. Getting a little bit of tear in there with the grass sprites. Yeah, I definitely don't want this kink in it either. Yeah, that's more what it's like. It's just kind of a straight run up from the road. I think we can get on board with that. Take my heart off to you, giving your time up on New Year's Eve. Happy New Year's, everyone. Happy New Year's to you as well, Electric Dreams. Welcome to the stream. Okay. Now I want to see what I can do with the terrain here as well. I think I might actually prefer these sections still on land. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Let's get the let's get the slip roads in first of all. Okay. So it'd be really good if we can repeat the cost here. Is that two five twenty? Can we have the same? Yes, we can. Wonderful. And then again, hopefully, just shifting that bit out with node controller should help. It was uh, shifting the blue node out to the right. That's helped. Mostly sort it, right? I think we can get some intersection marking stuff in here today as well. Well, I guess we actually already have um, Exes patterns, don't we? Because Exes already marked these up over here. So a similar intersection to this, right? Just steal Exes markings. <laughs> Rather than do them myself. Thank you so much, E6. Legend. <laughs> Beast. Okay, sort this out again. We just want that. Straight connection. Yes, please. Andy Reese with a four ninety nine US dollar super chat. Loving ILO so much. The mods really bring everything together. Happy New Year, Egg, and everyone. Happy New Year to you as well, Andy. Thanks so much for the support, mate. Really appreciate that. Very generous. And I'm glad you're enjoying it. 
Okay, so we're 10 units from the node that's like directly underneath the bridge, which is, let's turn road guideline off. Probably about that one. I'm aware we can use move it to correct all this. <laughs> I don't know why. I'm, it's like old habits die hard, right? Okay, so there's the connection again. I hope this is the right way to do this, using like node controller and stuff. I guess it's whatever way works for you, right? I guess there is no wrong or right way. Uh, so shift out green to the opposite side. And then offset the entire junction a little bit. Actually, can we match the offset here? What is it? 34.2 meters. Okay, let's do that then. Wonderful, kind of. There's a little bit of tear in here. We'll fix that with the clipper. It should be okay. Okay, it's working for right now. <laughs> this is like first time streaming mods. <laughs> so I am hoping that nothing terribly goes wrong that I don't know how to fix. As if it does, then we'll just move on from the project <laughs> and go and do something else. Mehmet Ali Bariskin with a try 50 super chat. Happy New Year, everyone. Happy New Year to you, Mehmet. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate your support, mate. You are relentless. Happy this year. Always here, Mehmet. Hope you have a good New Year too, mate. Okay, and there we go. Uh, hit the crosshair button on node controller. Okay. If you get rid of the node that is really close to where the ramp joins the highway, it will help. To where the ramp joins the highway, what, remove the node? This one here? Yeah, it does kind of pop it out a little bit, doesn't it? Yeah, okay. I th I'm assuming that's what you meant to see. Thanks so much. <laughs> Appreciate it. Uh, let's go into node controller. And then we want to throw out the red. And again, just mimic the offset here, which was 23. It'd be really cool if node controller had like a copy and, face, a copy and paste function like in section marking tool does. And then the rotate is 16 meters, so we'll budget out by a couple more. The other one on the highway. Or what, delete the actual node on the highway, do you see? Oh, this one here. Will that help? Oh, this one. I can't remove this one, so I'm assuming you meant that one. <laughs> All right. Cheers. <laughs> Casino with a five US dollar super chat. This super chat secures the name of the campus Tuxedo <laughs> Campus of Education. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, Tuxin. I got called out for that one in the comments. <laughs> Big time. Yes, Tuxin University, everyone. Yes, I now realise it's called Tucson, which I believe is the correct pronunciation. Am I getting that right still, Casino? Okay. I think I'm fairly happy with that. It's at least somewhat functional right now. Yeah, Tucson, yeah. I had a lot of different pronunciations. <laughs> We're definitely going to give um, a shout out in the next video to all the Tucson people. But yes, the, the campus will be called Tucson, 100%. That's definitely like a prepare to exams moment, isn't it? Okay, I don't like that all this arterial here is like ever so slightly elevated. Let's change that with move it. I think I just did that when I drew the bridge over, didn't I? Yes, I did. Okay, and then let's do control height. That one, has that fixed it up? Yeah, we're okay there, right? Okay, so let's make sure our directions are all the right way. I think we should be here. This, by the way, that this little eyedropper tool in the bottom right, this is such a great quality of life mod. And um, who knew that was needed? Uh, so we need to change the type of arterial road here, actually. Um, it's one of these four lanes with the gap, isn't it? Yeah. 
there we go. And it just gives us that break in the median so people can cross over. They probably actually, these want to probably be a, a median road or a, a, asymmetrical, sorry. What do we have here? Two and three. Okay, we'll see how it flows. I really, I need Google Earth to see how this should flow really, but it's not coming up on the screen for some reason. So we'll leave it like that for right now. We'll hopefully just see a little bit of the industrial traffic siphon off from this. So what we'll do when we come to build the farms, we'll have a road that completely removes the industrial traffic from this part of town and then feeds it through the farmland. And then they can rejoin this road down here. Which hopefully now with a little bit of three speed, Let's put our game on 100%. We should hopefully just see some some traffic siphon off here. Hello all, second time at the New Year's Eve stream, so basically tradition now. Hey Jahaka, welcome in buddy. Looking forward to seeing the Tux on library. <laughs> yes. Yes, who is? <laughs> who isn't? Yeah. Who isn't? This would be a lovely spot for a special U-turn intersection like 2C once showed off. 2C is my intersection inspiration, so slide into the DMs, 2C. <laughs> slide in. Okay. So this isn't too bad. Um, so we certainly see quite a bit of wire fencing around interchanges. I want to say specifically Phoenix, but probably the rest of America as well. So there is like some wire fence props, isn't there? Yeah, here, these chain link ones, these are what I'm thinking. These from the Natural Disasters DLC. Yeah, okay, let's terraform the land a little bit. Let's go... Kind of up here and then just soften that out, okay? I just want a little bit of... Maybe level terrain is better for this, actually. Mm, or is it though? I don't know. I feel like we need to see the fence first of all. Let's have a little look, shall we? Yeah, so they're kind of just like this and then they come out and probably use prop line tool to draw these ones in though. Yeah, there we go. And then they just kind of run the length of the highway like that. And I think if we get some bushes in here as well. Uh, let's go for something small. Some of these weeds. Some of Karina's weed. No, Karina spent ages picking out the air. Uh, kind of the palette for Eyeless. So we use them. Maybe some cactus as well, right? Okay. Ooh, that's not healthy. <laughs> Why are they do that mad lane changing? What have we done to the node? Ooh, look how they come off as well. That's such a dangerous turn. Just wait for it. <laughs> like they just go right across all the lanes. It's not safe. We'll see. Hey, Egg, love the new city. I got new district names for you. If you make a commercial district called Bulos, a canal district called Drylos, <laughs> or a downtown called Hylos, yeah, we'll certainly have some map named districts. Okay, don't think this is too bad. Maybe some more. More characters should be okay. Lane management. So traffic manager fixes it. That should be all we need to do, right? Oh yeah, see him. Oh, that's intersection marking tool, wrong one. So we can't use the lane switches on the highway. I'm guessing it's just this one. 
So you guys can only go straight on them. That should hopefully fix the madness. I did see someone just leave, but not what lane he came out of. It's the shape of the node that's doing it. Is that what it is? Okay. Use network multi tool to remove the nodes right next to the ramp because cars slow down when two nodes are really close. Okay, let's do that. Like we just did on the other side, right? Yeah, there you go. Good shout, Alex. Thank you, mate. I'm sure like a million people have just shouted <laughs> just shouted that out. Yeah, like like two C said. Okay. That's a handy little point to have, isn't it? Really wish someone would exit here. Yeah, he just exited, didn't he? Wait, there we go. Yes, there we go. So the new cars are coming in. Once they haven't had their lane or destination pre-assigned. Oh no, there's another one there. Okay, we're spending too long on it. I'll fix that off camera. We'll find out why the nodes are behaving like that. Let's carry on with detail anyway. Jabba, start with a 10 Canadian dollar super chat. Happy New Year to all. Happy New Year to you, Jabba. Thank you so much for the super chat, mate. And indeed, your relentless support this year as well. You have been here near enough every Sunday. Really appreciate it, mate. Some lame mathematics are needed. Yeah, that's a good shout out, isn't it? Yeah, we need to go down into three lanes here. Um, on the highway. Yeah, we'll do that in a second. Hold on. Need to do fencing first. <laughs> of course. As always. So what's everyone's New Year's plans? Are you guys just hanging out on YouTube tonight or is this the start of a wild evening for everyone? Let's get some New Year plans in there in the live chat. Some smaller bushes in here too. I think I'm fairly happy with these. Okay. Voice chat party. Yeah, I'll certainly ha uh, hang out in the Discord tonight in uh, the voice channels if everyone is uh, hanging out. Our Discord is linked below if you'd like to go and spend New Year's Eve with us. We are a wonderful little community. Uh, you're more than welcome, provided that you're not a dong. Do come and join. Links in the description. Snow in here, but maybe some fireworks tonight. Currently 20 degrees at my friend's gaff. Reese is watching YouTube. Matt is watching YouTube while isolating. Okay, a lot of YouTube going on tonight. Roman watching Egg. Badge, that sounds good. Discord, you got Discord? We do have a Discord. We've had Discord for like uh, 18 months now. It's nearly two years old, the server. Okay, let's have a look at those lane mathematics. Um, let's come down into highway roads and look for... Relaying. Please don't ruin my little bits of detailing. Make sure we remember to downgrade the ground over here. Wonderful. That might help out the mad lane switch, actually. That doesn't add the node back in, does it? I don't think it will. No, it doesn't. Okay. Very nice. I feel like I maybe should have brought these fences down a little bit more. It's fine. It's fine where it is. I'm pretty sure I remember it looking like this anyway. Wonderful. Let's turn off Anarchy. I'm getting better at that. <laughs> I'm getting better. Casino will be doing lots of blurred out. I'm not entirely sure what that is, but as long as you're safe, Casino. YouTube and some SimCity. Some SimCity. That's old school. Which Sim City, if you don't mind me asking, Iridium? Hopefully, three thousand. Uh, Nezo Dam with a two US dollar super sticker, and it's a fist bump. Fist bump back to you as well, Nez. Thank you so much for the support, buddy. Really appreciate it, and a happy New Year to you. This is 
is what I've been looking forward to so much. <laughs> it's just slowing down for a stream and fleshing out a little area. See where the fence does a little bit of this. This is what I'm concerned about. Let's see if we can slope this out just a tiny little bit. There we go. There we go. That's what we want. Okay. So I think I'm quite happy to keep the highway embanked at least for a little bit. Obviously, we'll make this a lot more appealing and make it look somewhat more natural. But otherwise, this is going to give uh, a second highway exit for the city. Which once we... Like, there's traffic here at the minute. It's not chronic. It's just because we've got so much industry here. Like, we need to move this industry. I need to make that episode. <laughs> like, that's what needs to happen next. Okay. Um, so, part detailing. Uh, let me see if I can figure out why. Let me give you guys a little... Uh, precious nighttime view of the big box stuff while I try and sort this out because I really do want to have a look at Google Earth. It's worked every stream before, so we'll see why it's been difficult now. Okay, I think I've actually just figured it out actually. Hold on. This should work now. Yes, please, everyone. Okay. Uh, right, let's go to Phoenix and have a look at some suburban parks. Wonderful. I came in late. What's the plan after the diamond interchange? Uh, we are going to be doing some park stuff. So I just want to go into the grid, okay? Go into the insane mile grid and then just look for some, for some green spaces. Um, here we go. Okay, so we've got a larger one here. Which is parking lots and climbing frames, pathways. Okay, there's some nice inspiration there. It's maybe a little bit big for what I'm after. Looks like this belongs to the elementary school as well. What are we getting? Why has Lizard been timed out? Yeah, don't spam Lizard. If the mods are removing your message, it means it shouldn't be there. Uh, Coco Cam, uh, she's not here tonight. But yeah, don't spam, dude. The mods will tell me about. Okay. I think we can work with this. Oh, there's frontage road here as well, isn't there? Yes, there is. Yes, please, everyone. Frontage? I think it is, right? Yes, it is. It is. There's a little bollard here that divides it against the arterial. And there's a little park sign here. Yeah, okay, we can do this. This is easy. This is nice. Where is little Cocoa Pops? Uh, she's at my sister's tonight. Uh, yeah, she's at my sister's while I'm doing the live stream. Just having a sleepover. Okay, we can do this. Back into cities. Let's come back to... Daytime. Cool. Okay, so we happen to have a spot for it right here. This will be fine. Let's do a bit of forest brush first of all. And we'll paint out Lee Hawkins too because this area will still all be uh, American Eclectic at least for a little while. I am worried about maybe using too much American Eclectic stuff, but I think there is just so much of it in in Phoenix. We might have a look at some other other themes. I do have like a rural res one that might work in suburban patterns. We'll see though. Oh crap, I'm missing super chats, man. <laughs> Holy crap. 06 Russ with a five pound super chat. Happy New Year. Looking forward to more videos next year. Thank you so much, Russ. Really appreciate the super chat, buddy. And uh, yeah, me too. I am looking forward to more content next year. Appreciate it. And then Blanche with a five US dollar super chat. Uh, look up Encanto Park in Phoenix or Chaparral Park in Scottsdale. Thanks very much, dude. We absolutely will. And um, we'll just get this one built first. Uh, but we'll definitely dive back in and have a mutual round at some others. Thank you so much for the super chat, mate. I appreciate that. In Canto Park. Okay, I won't forget that. Uh, okay, so this is probably a little too small to already feed in another arterial grid. Or maybe not. Yeah, it is. It's too small. Um, Let's go for one of these roads. 
to look radio and then we're going to grab some kind of three by two asymmetrical feed you into the roundabout which does slightly ruin my intersection stuff but i can copy and paste the filler back that's fine and then you again as well oh god <laughs> tree allocate oops it's fine don't worry about it we'll fix it Okay, so roads that work really nicely in cities for actually building a frontage road are the drive roads um, from a big parking lot. But I think before we try them, we'll come in with the basic plane. And no road guidelines snap in here either, that's just going to make things awkward. Also road anarchy. Okay, so let's just have a little look at how this frontage road sits. So there's a little bit of grass free towards the bottom there, isn't there? Okay, that's fine. Bring it up to here. Now with Anarchy, we can connect in. Uh, let's turn traffic lights on there. But you do get these dodgy connections with these roads. That's why it's better to use the drive ones. Um, actually, I wonder if node controller would fix this if we delete the node. You can't really grab it there, can you? A one unit road would look good. Possibly with the no parking, Karina. Hmm. Hmm. Karina might have just sorted us out. Um, let's use node controller and go for no markings. And then hopefully we move it. We should. Again, the only road I've tried this with where it doesn't get all glitchy and weird when you mess about. I guess we could use Surface Painter as well, actually. We'll see. Why is this snapping started happening with Move It? Toggle snapping, there we go. Okay, so we can kind of use that. Okay, and then how does the road network sit around the park? Okay, so it all feeds off the frontage road and then connects in at certain points. This is all bollarded off, okay. And then we can feed off suburban patterns from that. That's fine. That's nice and easy. Thank you so much for that little one unit road suggestion, Karina. That was a tremendous time saver. Does it look weird if we come back to these roads out of a one unit road? I think it does, doesn't it? Um, no, I think we'll be alright with that. That's fine. And then this way, we'll go for 20 units. We want to save tile behind so what's that measurement there nine units let's do eight instead and then draw that up because there is a pathway running behind these houses here which loops around to this side so that's gonna be nice and easy to bring in okay let's get the pathway i am playing with some new pathways actually um, let's go for ground only. Kate B with a five pound super chat. Happy New Year from Coca Bean and Sis. <laughs> Thanks so much, Kate. <laughs> it's my sister, everyone. With Coca Beans. <laughs> I love that everyone, everyone's asking where Coca Beans is. Um, I think I'm actually going to delete this one. Yeah, thank you so much for the support, Kate. Really appreciate it. Not that you have too much of a choice, but <laughs> thanks anyway. Okay. So I'm using some parts of the workshop here. Let's come onto the grid. And then move down. And then mimic it like here. Go over a couple more actually. Kind of sticks out a little bit further, doesn't it? Okay, so we can, I think I'm feeling, what sort of grass is it? It's kind of like worn down grass, isn't it? Almost like you can see the sand and the dirt coming back through beneath it. Definitely not like AstroTurf or Artificial. So we'll use fertile land for it. 
let's do in super bush strength. It's easy just to bring the bush size up as well. Yeah, just a little. I don't want the grass everywhere. I'm happy for a little bit of that dirt just to poke through. Easily the worst brush options on this. Uh, is it extra landscaping tools or better? I always call it the wrong version. I know I do. Okay. Well, I've got to head out. Weather overload. Walk his puppy before the chaos begins. Thank you so much, Max. Really appreciate you stopping by the New Year stream, buddy. Okay. This is kind of what I'm after, isn't it? So it's just, you know, it's just not maintained. It's been walked on. It's maybe been a little bit dry recently, so the sand and the dirt is coming back through. Just check that I know the resources under it. There shouldn't be. Yeah. Is it usually that weak, Eggsy? I think it's just because it's a, a resource, isn't it? When you do it in big stretches, it's fine. But when you're trying to do it in smaller spaces, it's not quite as intuitive, really. I guess we could do it over a much bigger space and then just chip away what we want, right? Kind of like that. Yeah, either way, it's fine. It's the vibe that I'm after. Is there no square brush? I think you can download brushes from the workshop, Aris, but not with the way the mod comes. That's all they give you, like the most ridiculous shapes. <laughs> What's the point? What is the point? So many good ideas on Google Earth it is, isn't it? Like once you've started looking at it for inspiration like this, um, you can't really go back to any other way. Um, so there was a little playground on it as well, wasn't there? Yes, there's a little playground here. Let's have a look at the type of trees while we're here too. I'm assuming they're going to be palms, but we'll have a look. Okay. Yep, there you go. <laughs> There's the palms. And then on the sides of this, we have... So the park is surrounded on three of its four sides by residential, and there's just some little commercial stuff over here. Yeah, kind of like a little strip mall, right? I don't know, for the Americans in the chat, would this qualify as a strip mall here? Where you can get 12 packs of cans for $10.99? Is this, would this qualify as a strip mall? I'm not sure. Okay, so let's get those trees in. Definitely something larger. Yeah, leafy tree. Is this what we're after? I think it is, isn't it? Yeah, it would. Okay, that's good then. You know what, I'm even going to get down into how many trees there are. Four on each side of the frontage with a palm in the middle. Okay. <laughs> let's really let's really get into the tree detailing, tree detailing today, everyone. Oh, is it four including that next one? I've already forgotten. No, it's not. It's four separate ones. Okay. That's fine. Put this one back a touch. Place that in. And then here. Oh, turn off auto default too. Boom. And then it's just like a random palm, isn't there? There we go. We'll also give this some connectivity. So it's kind of functional. Right. So they can walk through. Uh, let's have a look at this one here. So it's slightly off on an angle, isn't it? Let's go for row length and angle here. And we'll do two, five, so it comes back up by three. Fantastic, wonderful. That works quite nicely, actually. Let's come into the world of park props. I haven't even looked on the workshop for props like this. Oh, there's... the stain decals here as well. forgot about these. But there's also grind dress decals. I can maybe use them on the... on the artificial grass. We'll see. I'm getting distracted. <laughs> now let's build... Let's build a climbing frame, shall we? Let's throw down a few of these assets. Maybe a little pavilion on the square as well. Okay. A little small, but yeah, strip mall is really any sort of non indoor outdoor group of buildings. Okay. An outdoor mall. Okay. Yep, 
Use pencil pines for parking lots. I feel like this wants to be a little bit deeper, actually. Let's give it a little bit more breathing room. Let's bring a bin down by the side of the path, too. Okay, all of the demands have currently fallen away. I'm not entirely sure why that is. Oh no, there we go. Speak of the devil. <laughs> we literally get the smallest amount of residential demand. That's fine. We also want to start developing the grid off the back of these roads too. Okay. And I want to save room for this little pathway that flows between houses. Uh, quite often around Phoenix as well. Okay. Also, the eyedropper will make the road anarchy change to whatever the road you selected had applied and it was built. That is very useful to know, Matt. Thank you so much. I did not, I had no idea that was a thing. That's really good to know. Okay, let's fill all this in with res. We'll hopefully see some people arrive. Definitely want to feed some more people into this frontage system here as well. So let's bring bring another road out from my right here. And then into there. And then just hide all the markings too. And then you can come down to here and then connect. Uh, actually, no, you don't need to connect back into the arterial there. That's fine. Okay. So we're just getting so little demand at the minute. I'm not sure why. If we've never had that issue before. We do keep getting little spikes of residential and commercial, but it almost immediately drops. Is that a mod conflict, maybe? I'm sure. But either way, we're looking at a little strip mall, aren't we? Directly opposite. So let's have a little look at that. Uh, I think definitely parking lot roads is going to be a friend here, isn't it? Yeah, it is. And then there's some nice little corner assets here as well. What is this building, I wonder? Hookah. Okay. No kind of billboards or anything around here. No, pretty suburban. What's this? A Catholic church and a school. Oh, we can do a church. Yeah, let's do a church on that corner as well. That'd be nice. <laughs> right? Winning low on power and trash is way behind. Are we out of power, are we? Yes, we are. Good spot casino. Excellent. <laughs> Let's throw down. Let's throw down some more um, more solar panels. Are we happy now? Maybe two more. Okay. Tried deleting a few industrial buildings, so throw it off. Do you reckon? Try. God, I hate generic industry. <laughs> it is the worst. I'll wait to get rid of this stuff here. I think we're going to go for some like dusty old desert rail yard vibes out here, I think. To sit alongside this kind of main road. I think having them adjacent will look quite nice. Okay. Do you know what we should do as well that I didn't do last episode? Is bring the buses um, over to the big box stuff. Uh, you currently serve the industrial area, but aren't really needed down there. Let's go. Stop here. 
and then stop outside the residential condos too. And then there's a nice spot as well there where they can meet up with the other bus line. We don't want these stops here anymore now. I actually wonder if we can come on with anarchy with a little vanilla path here so people will uh, move through between the two different sides of the road with no road length. I wonder if that'll work. Yes, there we go. People will cross between different sides of the street now. Very nice indeed. Oh, crap, man. We've got 220 people here. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome to the stream, everyone. That's really busy. So early as well. Thank you so much for turning up for the New Year's Eve stream, guys. Really appreciate it. Um, garbage warnings as well. Did we have apparently? Do we need a new recycling centre down? Yes, we do. Absolutely, we do. Um, can I afford one of these big boy workshop ones yet? It's nearly two grand a week, man. That's so expensive for a recycling centre. What's its capacity here? 2,400. to 7,200. Okay. What's that compared to the vanilla one? Exactly the same. What's the point? <laughs> What's the point? Right, let's go for a vanilla one then. Here we go. Cool. I should sort it out. What's wrong with my Costco? Multiple problems. Not enough goods, death, and police. It's weird that it's just you specifically. Are you, like, not classed as connected to the road or something? I wonder if that's why it's doing it. That's not what I wanted to do. Okay. We'll have a look at that in a minute anyway. Right. Corner car park. So we're not going to use these cul de sac designs here now. Uh, we will use them, but not here because we know we're putting uh, some kind of car park in here anyway. Uh, let's go for... One of these. One wasn't enough. I didn't even check it, did I? I'll be sticking an incineration plant down temporarily as well. Got more. And again, we are at nearly 12,500 now. I guess that's... Probably appropriate, isn't it? There we go. We're in the green. Uh, crime. Where's the crime happening? Oh, it's the Costco, isn't it? Okay, that's fine. Let's get all the icons green. Yeah, that's true. I guess we are missing a fair bit, aren't we? Let's look at our fire coverage. Yeah, we only have two fire stations. That's definitely not enough. Let's add some more in. Um, let's add one into the little suburban area over here. There we go. Okay, we'll add one. I know I'm not allowed to place service assets on arterials now because I'll upset City Planner, I think. So... Over here. Let's put us up to orange, okay. Go in for police coverage. We are in the green, only a six percent crime rate. We have a few more police stations anyway. we should be okay and then are we still screaming for university demand i think we are aren't we yeah we're well, probably not that far from a campus build you know um 
we drop another one of these little modules in. How much are the little ploppable base game universities? I don't really want these though. <laughs> Too big. It's fine. I'll just keep placing the little faculty building some high tech until we're ready to build a campus. There we go. That's enough for us right now. Alright. Cool. We need some cute libraries. Some great ones on the workshop. Yes. Absolutely there will be. Come into grid. I think I know how I want to set this up. Yeah, something like that, I think. And then let's go. For there. Be a little bit deeper than that, maybe. Or longer, rather. Okay. Grab a planter as well for the car parks. Always a favourite. Yeah. Actually, how would these look out? I wonder. Little potted ones. Is that okay? You should add an American football field for the high school. Yeah, we will do eventually. Not every high school campus will have one though. Drop some commercial in. Actually, probably want what the Grobles ones, I think, here. Drop a five guys in. Dollar Tree is a little big for what I'm after. Some bagels. And I guess these ones are out of the kind of the little strip mall set, aren't they? Because there's a little collection of them here. These ones. Kind of build these up. Maybe this is more the vibe that we want. That would work as a corner asset, I suppose. I think if we go for that and then nudge them along with move it, I think we'll be... In for a nice time there. Yeah, that's going to create a nice little layer of depth on the street as well. Okay. Not bad. Let's get a Papa John's in also. And a... Pizza Hut right next door. And a pawn shop. That's going to be fine. Grab all our little commercial friends. Let's spin around onto our car park. This should give us kind of the aesthetic I'm thinking. Okay. I think that's going to sit quite nicely opposite our commercial park, isn't it? That old charge is interfering with the residential zoning. Thank you very much for seeing it. Good spot, buddy. Those go together rather nicely. Yeah, it's not too bad, is it? I don't think. I think it's okay. Um, why don't we go for... Medical Center on the corner. Not that, though. <laughs> That's enormous. Um, I think maybe just there. Oh, do I not have the European theme turned on? No, I don't. Oh, I need to do that. I want the, the, um, the European Medical Center. Okay, it's fine though. We'll just use... Mm -mm. I don't know. 
kind of am feeling the clinic. Maybe with yet another car park, actually. <laughs> There's not already enough of them in Ilos. Oh, no, not like that. There we go. Nick my little potted plants again. Cool. I was robbed at gunpoint working at a Papa John's. Good times. That sounds terrifying. I hope everything was okay. There's more car parks than people in America. Yeah, I'm getting that impression from looking at Google Earth. <laughs> They're everywhere. They really are everywhere. Okay. Not too bad right now. I think it's okay, isn't it? We're slowly getting some demands back up. I've had this problem with the demands just flat out disappearing when I've had the man master on. But to be fair, it shouldn't actually be on for Ilo, so I don't know why it is. Um, is there any trees set opposite these little strip malls here? How are we looking? Or is that it done? Yeah, we've got a few trees on this corner here, haven't we? See, I wouldn't know how to make a car park like that. On the angle. Without it looking weird in cities. Not sure, I'll have to try that design sometime. Okay. Let's have a little... Uh, nighttime view and rehydration here as well, everyone. We are an hour into the stream. With 240 people here. Welcome, welcome everyone. Really appreciate all the support on the Idos lives. There we go. Let's get a look at Walmart, shall we? I love this little commercial plaza we did in the episode with the little hedges that mark out the pathways. Even though there's some left over. Oh no, 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 no. <laughs> I deleted the walkway. There we go. Yeah. Okay. Let's have a little break anyway. A little drink. Looks so cute, it does, doesn't it? it? Does. Sometimes the negative demand with the man master has to do with high taxes. Even sometimes twelve percent can screw with the man master. Oh really test. That is interesting. Yeah, see they're just like just scraping. Up to like really low demands. Well, let's see if Tess is right. Because I remember Tess came in with a really good fix on a problem we had in a Varia live stream. I think it was when we were doing the highway bridges, weren't it? By the, the Rudy Riverbend rest stop. They're, they're, they're starting to peak a little bit. <laughs> She's right. If there's any members in the chat, can we get some yes please emojis in the live chat for Tess? With... Yeah, again, more game saving tips. <laughs> Good shout, Tess. Good shout. Okay, so high taxes. We get this happening as well, like random heating warnings. Yeah, that's fixed it. Okay. Cool. Let's pop the demand back up then so we can start to zone out our new little suburb here. Uh, not along the front though, I have shattered zone in here. Do something different with those. Okay. Did you use the insertion line tool for the bow tie? Yes, I did. I did. And um, we did the lane directions because we were having people in this right lane here that were just right over the filler <laughs> and into whatever lane they wanted. Yeah. So uh, we've we've tidied it up. Wonderful. Okay, but we'll hopefully start to see some, some folks come in here. Slowly but surely. So the problem is with the taxes, it's the mod, so I'll turn the mod off. Yeah, I will, because you know, it's not even supposed to be on, mate. It's not even supposed to be on. I don't know why it is. I don't use the Man Master. The only time I use the Man Master is for modular builds. I need a certain asset to come in or whatever. 
Uh, let's get some parks around here so people actually want to live. This is really going to help. Uh, let's maybe complement with a dog park on the corner. Let's get some baseball fields. Might be a little bit big. Do the churches provide happiness? Yes, they do. They do give entertainment value at the churches. I have a couple of churches, though. There's not just the one. I think this one is more what we're looking like. Over in the Phoenix, we're looking at in Glendale, isn't it? Oh, the, the suburb, sorry, not the Phoenix. Makes no sense at all. Okay, I just want to try something daring. I don't know if this is going to work or not. And it probably won't. But just give me a second. Oh, it would, but these Amer this American Road Pack doesn't like it, though, does it? Um. No, it doesn't. Not at all. Can we delete the node with node controller? Will that help? Not node controller. Can't remove that one. Okay. Maybe it's the road then. Maybe it's the road. Let's try a vanilla plus one. Have the angled road on a frontage road. Yeah, that would work as well, Exe. It's just not like that. Like, I'm just seeing we can replicate it where everything just sits on the arterial. But this is this is too many nodes close together. Yeah, I guess a frontage road would fix it actually. Yeah, that's a good shout. Let's do that. Um, let me move this little suburban police station over here. So no, because you're in the way. Uh, let's go over there for right now. You as well. So we can break this road here. Okay. Um, let's re-upgrade back into this little American one with the yellow median. I love these little raised yellow sections too. These are so nice. Okay, so that frontage road idea again. Let's go for that one. And again, we'll just go 20 units there. Bring you right into the corner and not connect in. We will find a place to connect in, in a second. Um, then parking lot road. Do you want to maybe go a little bit wider? Is this going to look ridiculous? Yes, it does. Let's go for the thinner one then because we know we like that. On a 45 degree angle, can we then place the church? So what are you actually costing us? What are you doing? So it's entertainment. Yeah, so it's essentially a park, isn't it? Ploppable, unique building. Okay. Let's drag you in to my little car park. No, I keep using... The eyedropper tool. <laughs> That's not what I want. Here we go. Okay. Something like that. And then can I grab everything? Like here. And just say, come into the corner for me. Yes, <laughs> that seems to be working. Are we happy with this? Can you please say road against road action at least once? See, you're all missing road against road action now, aren't you? Because I know the official term for it. <laughs> everyone's, everyone's missing it. Hmm. Reese, are you sponsored by State Farm? Just seem to be mentioning State Farm a lot. <laughs> like it's, it's fine. I just I've never heard of it. Okay, so this is sort of what I'm after. Let's go for some alternating plant of spice. Probably surface painter here as well. By the way, I've also discovered that surface painter kind of works on like a northeast southwest orientation if you keep your brush size at single 
and then off the road that you want to do it, kind of keep it in straight lines, you can get kind of much more pleasing surface painter. Kind of see how that works. When you just keep it on single, you can be a lot more precise with it. But only moving like north, east, south and west, if you try to do a diagonal line, you get the junk. A little surface painter tip. Maybe I wanted one. <laughs> I'm not sure if he did. But either way, we can use surface paint here. It doesn't matter when you're doing stuff like this, obviously, but if you are, then you can you can use it. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Get some pathways and little plazas in here. Uh, at least so people can walk through. So, come out of the grid here, too. So, yeah, let's have a path there. Do you actually need to connect this into the road network though? So let's do that while we're here. There we go. Okay. Let's have a look what else is around this church on Google Earth. How is this kind of sat? So it's, not, it's actually not even on the angle. I've literally just done that. It's actually quite straightforward to do with the way it sits here. Car parks and baseball fields. Okay. And basketball as well. There's like a little gazebo here. Is that kind of... It looks like another basketball court, doesn't it? Yeah, it is. Okay. Concrete brush tires, I'll save you. I think that's what I need, Exit. I know you've sent me links as well before, mate. I will check them out. And there's a pathway behind here as well. Looks like there's some event spice happening at the church. There's a lot of gazebos knocking about. I guess it's a school as well, isn't it? Catholic. Yeah, it was. It was on the sign, wasn't it? Catholic church and school. Okay. Not bad. Oh, wonderful. Our suburbs are growing. Yes, please. Let's bring this down. Okay. Wonderful. So I am thinking as well, guys, once we kind of come to... So we'll probably do an episode on, like, the layout of the, the mile grid, like, setting up the arterials and kind of fun little junctions like we have over here, right? We'll do an episode, like, just on road infrastructure. And then during live streams, we'll kind of come in to each mega square and do little custom designs like this during streams. Just to fill this entire space with one episode of Suburban stuff, that's just not fun to watch. That's way too much Suburbia in one go. So we'll flesh out a lot of the Margrid on streams, which will be fun. Using Google Earth like we are tonight. Okay. Very nice. Now let's bring in some more connectivity around here now. Let's go for... Path up here. You're connected, you're connected in there. I'd love to see someone walking on my little pathway here. Yes, they did, but not the way I wanted them to. <laughs> Why did you go that way? Okay. Oh, let's get that little park sign in too. It was on the corner, wasn't it? Um, let's go for... There is literally a park sign here, isn't there? Yeah, there we go. Fantastic. Wonderful. I'm dying to put some fencing in, but <laughs> there is none for what we're looking at. Okay, uh, so we have basketball courts here as well. We can certainly get away with this. Um, don't we just have the basketball decal on Find It? No, I do have some workshop assets, though. There's a basketball goal. Oh, yeah, there it is. The grass sprites do stay on it, though. Eggsy, what was the way to get rid of that again? I know you can use Hide It Bobby, but I kind of need them for the rest of the map. But I think there's a fix, isn't there? Or oh, we could just use the regular ones and then use um, Beautify our builds to get rid of the trees. Yeah, let's go for this one. Yes, I guess we can do that, really. We could always rename the stadium to Reese's State Farm, <laughs> Reese's State Farm Stadium. <laughs> yeah, we can do. There's a massive football stadium in... Uh, Tucson University. So we'll probably have it there. Yeah, I'll say ignore me. It's fine. I'm just going to use beautify bills to get rid of the decals. It's fine. Or the, the props, rather. 
Okay. Let's upgrade this road into tiny as well. And then we'll go for bringing this one a little bit further down. We'll probably reincorporate these little volunteer fire stations and whatnot. I feel like I want to redo this condo complex as well. You can definitely tell this was the start of an idea and then the idea kind of popped <laughs> as we came into the last episode with all the condos. All right, maybe do something like that over here. Okay, and um, baseball park as well, wasn't it? That we had over here as well. So let's bring that in. I feel like I need a smaller baseball park. I feel like this one that I've got is just a bit too, just a bit too beasty, I think. The thing I love about this baseball park though is that it has connectable pathways, like actual yes please, that's amazing, that's so good. Okay, let's bring the pathway around the side too, and then down onto the church like, I like the first condo complex, it's nice. Yeah, it's not bad, I think. I just think the second one's better. Let's tidy up with the service painter as well, though, actually. It has bled through. It was a slightly. There we go. Okay. I love rejoining a live stream and jumping back to where I left off, so all the comments are out of sync. <laughs> um, let's go... that but can we do node controller there we go just to widen it out a little bit I want to turn off the markings on that red node as well. There we go. Okay. Love your vision and execution, long time lurker. Thank you so much, Rohan. Really appreciate it, mate. Move all the nodes back. Like that. This one. I straighten that out, but uh, it goes a little bit mad, doesn't it? Can I get rid of this little bit here? Yeah, I can actually. Service paint has fixed that. That's fine. Oh, there's a little bit of junk there, isn't there? With the way that's gone in. Mm, no, I don't like that. Get rid. Get rid. And then reset the node controller too. Just won't connect it in there. Uh, delete. There we go. 267 people here. Welcome to the stream, everyone. Really appreciate so many people turning up. Not only for the first modded live stream, but... On New Year's Eve as well. Thank you so much for that. What's the most views on a stream X had? Um... I think for a live stream, it's about 320, is it? For a premiere, it's 400 and something. That was for Ilos, though. That was Ilos' premiere that hit that. Okay, but I'm thinking I'm starting to get happier with life in this part of town. Suburbs developing. Got some need for education again. Elementary school. Yep. And you know what, actually, in um, the bit we're taking inspiration from, there is actually a school here, so we can combine this with this area as well. Um, American Elementary School. Will you fit in and tie with my church, I wonder? Can I change your roof to be the same colour as that church as well? Very nearly. Do you want to sit next door? How do we want to position you, I wonder? 
just so much appreciation as well, everyone, for how much easier it is just to discuss asset orientation now and not have to mess about with roads. <laughs> it's just so much better. So much better. Billboards are trash, like that map called River Deported or whatever it is. Yeah, I'm not a massive fan of that one either, mate. <laughs> I'm not a massive fan. Billboard on that corner. I do like a billboard. I do like a billboard. Although now I'm thinking, do I even want this little plaza painted out? Do I want to just keep this as grass and get it overgrown? Do you think you know do modded from now on? Um, no, not at all. Not at all. There'll be a vanilla city starting in 2022. With, um... The, like 2022 how to start a city which will be a series rather than just a standalone video like it normally is let's get some more palms around here as well i've been told to start using more palms apparently i'm not using enough so we'll bring some more in today okay oh, actually do you know what 2c i forgot mate we need to do the uh, the palms outside of the in and out it's two right Two palms. I know they're kind of intertwined, but <laughs> it's fine. We can get away with them there. Okay. There was more car parks here again, wasn't there? Let's do another one. Uh, again, should be pretty easy just to knock on with uh, parking lot roads here. Can we go for something a little girthier? It's, it's a little bit Childish, isn't it? Can we maybe go a little bit longer than that with anarchy? Like there. Is that okay? There we go. That's kind of what I want. And then can we grab that node again to come out? Yes, we can. Fantastic. Cool. Let's stick to our little habit of dropping in these little planters around this part of town. Okay, it can maybe be something of a design. And then I think maybe some Isla's green belt here as well. Just to tie off a little bit of open land behind the baseball field. Maybe just nicely into this uh, little bit of green belt we've got knocking around near the condo complex too. Now can we search for a fence? Go for a wooden fence number two, shall we? Near the park. Needs it to be a lot closer than that, though. One more. There we go. That's perfect. Five meters for those fences. Okay, then let's grab the pathway again. Bring you down the side. And then we should be alright to carry on with the fencing. Cool. How about that? Hmm? Kind of boxes in the school and the, um, Church now is the other thing, doesn't it? This little front plaza wants detailing out there. Okay. 276. Welcome, everyone. Really busy stream tonight. <laughs> Bye, Egg. See you next year. See you later, Lizard. Thank you so much for hanging out. I think this will look a little bit more 
kind of natural and organic once the suburb is fleshed out around the back of it. Which we do have that demand for residential, so let's carry on expanding. Let's bring this one down. Let's have a look at some very brief and basic uh, suburban roads here. So if we're orientating the park here. Yeah, so we're just quite straight, aren't they? Is there frontage road all the way down this road? Yes, there is. It runs for... All the way down to the local high school. This looks like a strip mall, doesn't it? Doesn't really look like a high school, that. Then we're getting into more kind of big box vibes down here. Like a big food and drug retailer. Okay. But the roads are pretty basic, they're just kind of straight lines and stopping. Very easy to mimic in cities in this part of the suburb. I'm happy with that, that's always nice, isn't it? Um, let's see if we can save space in between, though, that little pathway that goes behind the houses here. At least in certain sections. Connect into the arterial again. Need to use forest brush though. There we go. Never going to remember that. <laughs> to keep it to an entry on a key off. Cool. So let's just box in. I think I'm having some larger commercial units to sit here too. Actually, yeah, maybe we can just keep this this little fronted system going all the way down this side of the arterial road. And keep dropping car parks off of it. Because it allows us to orientate them really nicely. Alongside the main road. Hmm. Have a building theme for this area? Yes, eclectic. These ones. These little guys. Hey, hit small city. Nice. What do we get with this? We've got a small club soccer stadium. Nice. Might place one of those. Is it not in here? There it is. It's quite big actually, isn't it? It's quite... Mm. Don't know if I really love this asset. Guess it's more German themed. Guessing by the language on the side. Kind of looks like German. Not sure about that one. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Okay. So yeah, let's repeat this. I'll see is the frontage road both sides of the road. No, it is only one. Yeah, only one side. Okay, that's fine then. We'll just keep it on this side. Because we've already started that design. And then we'll start letting some houses grow up around here. Without me forgetting my pathway. Come into the grid. So the pathways, they just kind of run straight through. They don't do much else other than that. Let's bring one through here as well. And continuing to get that zoning in. I do spot a little space here for some perhaps natural green belt to be breaking through again. Let's look onto our smaller bushes. There we go. These ones. By the way, guys, if you haven't been onto the map listing uh, on the workshop, we're actually downloading ILOS. 
Uh, go give it five stars and help support Eggsy and Karina if you haven't already. Helps them get more exposure if it's higher at the workshop. Maybe one single taller tree here. Something like that. With a little bit of nature as a fence, maybe. Okay. I like the way that sits against the park. That's a nice little cross section, right? Alongside the endless stretch of American Eclectic construction sites, which I absolutely love. How is the original suburb doing now? Yeah, it's starting to, to pop in now a little bit, isn't it? Getting these American Eclectics coming in. Yes, boys, everyone. You need to use more really tall palms. I know, I know, Karina. I feel like I'm trying to hold back on them to stop them from becoming kind of everywhere. But yeah, I do need to start using them. Maybe plot some of them in the green belt. Okay. Um, what can we put out here? I feel like I'm struggling with this area. You know what? Let's just use Google Earth <laughs> because we literally have it. Just some kind of space. Maybe it can just be grass. Maybe it doesn't have to be painted out. Doesn't have to be anything really, does it? Look at this over here. There's the big arterial that goes into downtown here. We'll have a look at that during the Margaret episode. Some really cool infrastructure along this big main road. In uh, Phoenix, Muglandale. Okay. Yeah, there's not much space really left around here. It's all... Well, actually, yeah. There is there is space outside the church. What is this? Is this just like grassland? Looks like there's some fencing in there as well. Yes, please. Yes, there is. Yeah, it is. It's just a green field. Just a little bit of open space with a bit of fence, and I can absolutely get on board with more fencing. So let's do that. Take away service painter. Don't want it here. Leave. Cool. So, I think some of that white picket fencing will go quite nicely with um, the church, won't it? Yeah. I think it will. We'll have a look. Let's go for... Let's take out one more of that. There we go. It is nice to be playing with some new fencing as well. Um, I wonder if the little park statue would work in this context. We do have a zombie prop. Maybe put one of those in the graveyard. One of these. Is this too out of place? I think it is, isn't it? Yeah, there's nothing there. I'm trying to fill it with props and it doesn't need it. I think just a little bit of fencing and seeing the grass slash desert in front of it is okay. Alright. It's not too bad, is it? Wonderful. See how we're doing for all our demands. We are nearly running out of water again. Okay. Let's go and have a look at another water tower placement. Let's maybe drop one out here now. Maybe up alongside the highway. That'd be quite nice. Okay. Not bad. Again, jump back into Google Earth briefly and just see what kind of lies next to these little strip malls, if anything. Does it just move back into residential? Yeah, looks like it. Are these residentials? I think they are, right? They look like it. They're a little bit... Odd looking. Yeah, yeah they are. See, it's a shame we can't do this, just like have little entrance roads like this in cities without creating a million nodes next to each other. I don't think you'd be able to do it, would you? 
Not sure. Okay. We'll just let the residential pattern grow back around it then. That's fine. Yes, let's bring you directly behind too. There we go. And then not in here. Cool. I see you probably don't even need that connection. No, we don't. That's fine. We'll save that road to just increase walkability. So and everyone up. And again, we can bring in some of that little kind of path detail that's making itself known around here now. Modded path detail and everyone. The dream. Okay. Repeated residential spice. Yes. Hey Lance, welcome to the stream, mate. How you doing? Have you ever used Suburban Sprawl? Uh, yeah, I mean, there was a, a whole live stream of Novaria was called Using Suburban Sprawl. Let's come back into our small tree palette again. Oh, I missed a super chat, did I? Oh, Bradley Stanton with a five year Australian doll super chat. Happy New Year, mate. Happy New Year to you, Bradley. Dude, sorry so much, man. That scrolled off my screen. Yeah, thank you so much for the Super Chat, mate. Happy New Year to you. Thank you so much for making it so early in the morning. <laughs> I hope there's not too much of a hangover. I do like these as well, though. Has to be said. These little palms. Little dinky ones. I think they're quite cute. So we part of them with some bushes as well in this little open space. Right. I love that pawn shop. That's so, so American, that, isn't it? Especially with the bars in the window. You need to use Suburban Sprawl for this city? Well, yeah, we will, but we're like four episodes in. <laughs> so we're not going to have any significant Suburban Sprawl. Like, the city we're taking inspiration from is like the definition of Suburban Sprawl. But it's four episodes. So we're not there yet. Again, taller palms. And we'll force them in if we have to. Some little shrubs as well, maybe. I do love the aesthetic of all this dried grass with nature reserve fence lined pathways. Oh, yes, please. Look <laughs> at that there. That is the spice screenshot. That's the thumbnail. Let me screenshot that. There we go. There it is. <laughs> Anyone needs to know when you see a thumbnail? Alright. Okay. Continue satisfying these demands that are coming in. Saving this one here for a pathway. Nice. And again, with this little kind of encroaching onto the big box here now, aren't we? Which shouldn't be producing mass amounts of noise pollution. Yeah, fine. No problem at all. Let's get all that growing up to there as well. And wonderful. And I think where we've got the shattered zone in, uh, we'll just place in. Some American eclectic stuff. Um, let's go for go for that one and that one. Must manually drag them over. I so think the assets that face the artery are going to be quite important as to how they make it look. Do we have any um, southwestern US people in the live chat at the minute? Is there anyone local? Uh, let's turn off snap in here. Let's see if I can just bring this in. Yep, there we go. Let's go for another one. Uh, 
Corey's lived in Phoenix for years. Eden's in Albuquerque. State, <laughs> State Farm. Um, from Dallas. Okay. Are we, are we kind of, for those North, uh, South West people, are we kind of, are we getting the vibe here? You know, with kind of frontage roads and asymmetrical arterial roads with little strip malls like this and just the vibe. Are, are, are we hitting it? Because one, one of my biggest concerns starting ILOS is that, is that it would still look vanilla. Which I think I've managed to do. It does, I don't think it looks vanilla, but there's always that risk, right? He says looking at a heavily marked roundabout <laughs> the intersection marking tool, but you get, you get my point, right? You get my point. Oh, let's get going through. So yeah, we'll have a little look at these um, Glendale behind house pathways because they're everywhere. Kind of, no matter where you go, they're always flowing, right? Just a little pathway. You can even have a look how it just bleeds out of a little parking lot here too. Ooh, got all the cracks in the roads. We can maybe get involved with some of that detailing as well. But yeah, look, how cute, right? Just, um... Yeah, little pathways that were behind the houses. And they're everywhere, like literally. Just every row of house has a path behind it. Which is heaven for me, because... Pathways. <laughs> we love them. Absolutely love them. But yes, please. Yes, the more paths, everyone. Right. Wonderful. Let's go ahead and grab some more roads again. I think I bring this one right up. And then almost use it as another frontage road now as we hit the arterial again. And then can we downgrade into a one unit road with anarchy to feed in. I think we removed the markings, didn't we? Here as well. Mm, there's a touch of jank there, isn't there? There is a touch of jank just where the texture bleeds off the pavement. But I think we're okay. There was the alleyways. It's a glass half full situation, isn't it? Is it a alleyway or is it a path? Six and two threes, same thing, I suppose, right? Try not to run in too many straight, rigid roads, but it's literally all this suburb is. Maybe see if we can throw up some kind of cul-de-sacs and stuff using node controller. So, so connect back into the arterial here. Let's add the light back on. Love the crosswalks we get with these American road packs. The red brick's amazing. Leave a little space here. So, yeah, we're starting to want police availability now. So, let's have a look at that. Uh, I do like this priest, police precinct building. We do already have police station here, though. With the suburban one, we can probably move the fire station onto the main road now, too. Yeah. I think I'm going to go for another big car park. And let's go for... This road up through there. I don't like those. Let's take those away. And here too. I wonder if one of the, the girthier parking lot roads would fill this space. That one does absolutely perfectly. That's actually amazing. Like, <laughs> that fits in so nicely. How many mods and assets load in when you boot the save? Um, I think just under 2k, I think. 
There's stuff active on my save though that shouldn't be. I need to reorganize my mod stuff. I need to fix the collection as well. I've still not done it. Soon. Okay. Let's have a look at a bigger store here with plot with Rico to satisfy some of that commercial demand. Um, I don't want a wall another Walmart here, nothing that big. I've got like a little urban outfitters and like a family was it a Dollar Tree, whatever it's called, family tree, something like that, isn't it? Dollar Tree. And a Chuck E. Cheese and stuff. Okay, I think we'll do that, but we're gonna switch the orientation ever so slightly. Let's grab this small road. We're gonna bring this down. Would you do a car park tutorial egg? Yes. Yes, I would. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, if you guys want it. Um, I realise some people are quite keen on the possibility of... Wait, why are you now different height? You shouldn't be. Is it because I'm in the grid? Yeah, there we go. Let's just do that. Yeah, there's a video request channel in the Discord. So for those that are seeking mod tutorials, just post which mod you want them for in that channel. Okay, let's do 10 units. Yeah, I think that's what I'm after. Then we'll do the same thing again. Do 10 units and then use node controller to remove the markings here. No, it doesn't like this though, does it? Okay, hold on. Let's try this road instead. Create a new node in the center of the of the road. Is that gonna help, is it? Out there. Thank you so much, Craig. <laughs> really appreciate that, mate. Make sure it works with the double car parks either side first. Let's do 10 units each side. And then can I use node controller to get rid of the markings? No, did not want to do that. No, this is not working high upon it. Okay. It worked, like, perfectly fine when it was here for some reason. I guess it's just the way it snapped in, wasn't it? It's fine then. I can I can do it that way. Yeah, now it's the way I want. Okay. Let's go for 10. Then remove the markings again. We'll get there, guys. Then placing how big is this cracker barrel? Family Dollar. I knew there was a shop called Family Dollar. <laughs> I knew there was. Okay, uh, remember Ali Briskin with a try twenty super chat. Uh, you should use big, uh, big parking roads. Yeah, I should to be fair. I think I'm trying to force in with parking lot roads when I can just use big parking lots. Yeah, I think I think we will. Um let's go on to Border Road. 
Thank you so much for the super chat, Matt. Really appreciate it, buddy. And dash along with the 10 US dollar super chat as well, man. I'm missing super chats tonight, aren't I? Really big. Yeah, so sorry. Yeah, uh, dash along with the 10 US dollar super chat. Happy New Year, everyone. Happy New Year to you, dash along, if you're still here. I'm so sorry. I really missed your super chat tonight. That scored quite a way up. I think I'm focusing so much on not messing up with the mods that I'm on. <laughs> not, not even seeing super chats as they come past. Okay, yeah, 15. There we go. And then... This will have to become border road now as well. One foot. Let's get some filler. Yeah, excellent shout, Mehmet. That was a much easier alternative. Thank you so much, mate. It's also doing the opposite way here. Okay. Can you build a truck stop? Uh, we certainly will get into some kind of like truck stop vibes uh, once we hit a few more of the rural areas. Not here though. Okay. Let's get some curbs as well. Put my fence in. Uh, so can we draw down the middle Go for a little two meter curb Is the parking lot texture coming over the curb? I think it is isn't it? Is it? Yes, it does. It's really irritating. Okay, so we can't do them down the middle Maybe you can there's a way to do it who knows? Uh, let's go for a light as well, of course. You always want to spend time lighting at the parking lots that are made with big parking lots. Because they don't come lit naturally. Let's also go for perhaps a shrub or two. Alright. I love these little parking lot lighting templates designs. So much fun. Looks <laughs> like really good. Uh, okay, so we want nodes, trees, and props. One foot. And then we can just drop these in. In a couple of different spaces. Probably remove those. Smaller ones in the middle too. Also that one. Maybe drop in some disabled spots at that point. Um, let's go for these ones. Maybe rethink these as well. Make them a little... Yeah, let's go for five each side. Get clipper remover too. Wonderful. And then we can just copy these in again. So there's no filler road here, so they won't be driven on. Yeah, and we've got light from the arterial coming through there as well. Okay. Very nice. Let's come back into Rico now as well. I think the creator has some different parking roads to be used with curbs. Yeah, I'm subscribed to a weird version of this Ultimate American Road Pack. Um, I don't get any of the kind of regular four or six lanes. It's a lot of the asymmetrical stuff. Well, it's a lot of the six lanes I'm missing, actually. But yeah, there is some versions of these roads that work. At nicer with other junctions. Okay. Maybe go for a Chuck E. Cheese. A dollar tree in here as well. With... What's that? Like a, like a bank? First Skyline Bank branch? Yes, it is. Would you get a family dollar and a dollar tree right next to each other? I think you'd certainly get two discount stores in the UK right next to each other. 
Maybe get a gas station in here too. And there's a big boy. Smith's food and drug here as well. Almost feel like the, the parking lot wants to be repeated on the other side though. Or at least knock back the road network. Yeah, and then place the smiths out front. I think that's what we'll do. I think the smiths is too big. Not to have directly outside the car park here. Okay. Grab these roads again as well. Go. Cool. Yeah, definitely wants that, doesn't it? Definitely wants that one. Handicap is famous the way we've been shot for the and then not anymore. <laughs> not anymore, dude. <laughs> not anymore. <laughs> Two seat. <laughs> Great minds, JJ. Who did you say the same thing? Oh yeah, I feel like the sense out these some car park, yeah, totally does. <laughs> yeah, totally does. Yeah, I'm a little happy with that there now. That's gonna be alright. Okay. And then let's move these two forward as well. Something like that. Yeah, it's a little nicer, isn't it? I do love the frontage road idea. Seeing modded road against road action like this is incredibly satisfying. Wonderful. Okay. So one thing I would like to do before we start talking about wrapping up is connect the arterial networks together from one side of the highway to the other because currently the only road connection is uh, here and you can see the impact that it's having, right? You know, it's not chronic traffic but Everyone's crossing at this point, and um, that's just not nice. So we're going to bring an arterial road down here to cross over the highway. Uh, so you will eventually align with these roads here. I'm also thinking of some quite cute um, kind of light rail designs using the trams. I'll show you in a minute, because... Trams, and we love trams, right? Um, don't know why it keeps getting this slight elevation. Keep knocking it down there, that's fine. Yeah, so with the tram road, um, if we come into trams very briefly, we have uh, some modded tram lines, which are here at the one way uh, with parking. Now if we use, um, let's come down onto the, down to the earth here. So when we use parallel roads, not parallel parking, realise what that's what I just said. But using these little custom roads right next to each other, it kind of makes it look a little bit more like light rail rather than just being more tram lines, especially with the tram light, with the tram models we're using as well, the overcharged egg ones. Because these are quite thick. Hmm? It's because of anarchy, you have it set to two meters high. Okay, Drew, thank you so much, dude. Really appreciate that. You're a beast, mate, thank you. Yes, literally, <laughs> like the easiest fix. Yeah. Need a timed light at the single point urban interchange, you think? Well, I'm, I'm, all this industrial traffic's moving. This is what's destroying it at the minute. Once the farms are over here where they belong, out in kind of rural arterial land and not all smashing its way through here, it'll be fine. But for right now, it's a mess. We need to destroy the industrial area in a few episodes time. Uh, yeah, anyway, I was saying. So yeah, I think it turns it more into some light rail. There are some light rail tracks on the workshop, make them kind of like miniature metro. Okay, JJ, that's helpful. I would, uh, I'll probably check them out, yeah. But either way, with the way I've looked at it at the minute, a little bit of light rail, and then combined with some of the very artificial looking grass, that's basically like AstroTurf. 
I think what we can do for at least the foreseeable, because this arterial here, right, this is going to cross over the highway, meet up with the mile grid, and then probably run into the downtown. So I think if we can keep kind of like a little parky, very manufactured landscaped green belt, using some light rail vibes, probably some part fencing as well, like, let's not lie, we're obviously going to zone up with some some part fencing at some points and then maybe with some repeated fun palm action too plus parking lots and all little custom commercial area I think we can make something quite nice out of this aesthetic if we take this as the sample point right and then have it run kind of like straight as an arrow all the way through the grid which from the suburban view when it's finished will look really cool Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. I think it's quite nice anyway. If you guys hate it, then <laughs> I'm sorry for talking about it for 10 minutes. All right. Cool. Let's come off tree anarchy again. And regular anarchy. And we'll just draw you in for like there for right now. And then you will come down on angle into here. Okay. Might connect the roads here again at some point down the future. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe another little cute 2C roundabout, actually. Maybe one of these. And then split the arterial out that way. Um, okay, so let's elevate up and cross the highway. Um, I actually wonder if I want to be on the ground for this. I'm sure. We'll see. So first of all, a line up. Go for seven meters should hopefully be somewhat realistic enough. I don't know, I need a car. Ooh, no, it's not. <laughs> that is not uh, high enough at all. Let's bring that up a little bit more. Are we okay? Yeah, that's more than enough. That's great. Okay, and then hopefully just connect in here. Uh, let's come off the road guideline this time. And go for normal behavior. And then over the course of 12 or 13, can actually stretch it out to 14 tiles there. So I might embank this like we did with the highway and then cross it over. Unsure. Regarding the dollar general and the dollar tree together, it happens. In fact, there's a family dollar in front of a dollar general due to some pretty nonsense with a nearby IGA. Okay, thanks, Carlin. Good to know. Good to know. I'll be back to watch the VOD. Hopefully fully recorded from the virus. Came out to find a rare flat tyre. I hope you're better soon, Aaron. Best build award goes to you, my friend. Thank you so much, James. Really appreciate it. Thanks so much for the support. And then again, we'll repeat that measurement or descent of 14 tiles back down to the earth. And then, this will hopefully now just start to see a little bit of the pressure start to relieve from the rest of the road networks as the kind of arterial grid comes into play with traffic lights. Yeah, they don't like not having traffic lights on. I need to find a proper way to play with these roads yet and get the proper ones too. Okay, but at least now it's another side of the highway that's connected in. And of course, as the city grows and the highway infrastructure starts expanding around this, there will be more kind of intersections and ways in and out of the city. The way this light, light rail here. But I hope you like that little right light, uh, light rail <laughs> idea. I think it should be quite nice to do some ones like that. We also want to upgrade into these four lanes too, uh, where we have the, the break in the median. There we go. Using the wrong ones though. Ones with grass is what we want. Wonderful. There you go. Someone's already using it. Police car. So with you. Not enough workers. Okay. 
That's fine. We're getting just enormous big boy residentials demand at the minute. So let's just keep fleshing all this out. Very happy for this to keep happening. Let's not get our little pathway design here too. Got 284 people here, man. Thank you so much, everyone, for turning up for New Year's Eve. Okay. Good after dash. Got to entertain the kids. See you in voice chat later. No worries, Exy. Thanks for stopping by, mate. Appreciate the support. Um, I feel like a gas station on the corner might be appropriate here, actually. Right. I think it's starting to come together, isn't it? Hmm? We're going to be seeing a lot of this, <laughs> basically, this entire space here. So what, what was this? A two-hour stream, and that's what we got done? On this portion. Not bad, is it? Okay. Anyone using this road yet? Yeah, a few people now. A few people are choosing to use it to come over. Which is nice, you know, and this will run kind of straight the way down here now. You know, and everyone will start connecting in and Kind of the mile grid begins to develop off the back of this, really. And then we're away, and it grows and grows and grows, creating a very flat blanket of lights eventually, as we call to the downtown. Very nice indeed. However, that does feel like a wonderful place to leave the stream. It's been a little over two hours. And we can let everyone get away and enjoy the new year. Uh, let's go to night time and say our goodbye, shall we? Let's go and say goodbye over by the new park. I really enjoy this, I think. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? I loved it. <laughs> I just love it. I love this little strip mall. This strip mall's so good. Yeah, with a park in the foreground. There we go. That's what we want, isn't it? That's what we want. Wonderful. Okay, guys, I want to leave the stream there. I want to thank you all so much for watching. If you have enjoyed it, um, please leave a like uh, below. If you've really enjoyed it, come back and leave a comment on the video once it uploads as a video. Um, really helps me out with the algorithm. Really appreciate everyone turning up for New Year's Eve. That's really great. We've hit like 286 at the peak tonight, I think. I think Casino's been keeping an eye on it. I really do appreciate it. Thank you so much. I hope you've enjoyed the modded gameplay from the stream. A few hiccups tonight, but <laughs> I think we've managed to get through it okay. But uh, yeah, all really appreciate all support, all the help with the mods. You guys are the best. Really, really love you all. Um, let me see if there's anyone streaming for a raid. Um, no, there's not. Okay, we'll go show a few candy a raid then. Um, because I said I would, didn't I? Okay, guys. So, a few candy who's been in the stream tonight has started up a YouTube channel. She's making modded city skylines content supposedly inspired by Palavan. The link is in the live chat. Please go to that video and like it and comment on it so it feeds Joy's algorithm. She's brand new. She's very nearly at a thousand subs, um, which is one of the criteria to become monetized. So, please get her to that sub count. Be really, really great start for 2022 for Joy. But otherwise, thanks for modding. Really appreciate it. I'm glad you've all enjoyed it, guys. Thank you for modding, Lands and Jane. Thank you for mags in earlier as well. And all for our wonderful regulars, uh, Br Bradley, Sarah, the, the Australians are waking up. <laughs> Good morning, Aussies. <laughs> and yeah, have a happy new year, guys. Um, wish all the happiness and festivities upon you. Take care of yourselves. And I'll see you in 2022 with some more content and some more ILOs and more vibes. <laughs> all right. Thank you for all the support, guys. Have a good new year, and I'll speak to you all soon.